magnetic field of long straight wire. To determine the direction of the magnetic field, we should align the thumb to the direction of the current. The direction of the magnetic field will be the same as indicated on this diagram. So in this example that we have down here, the current is actually flowing in here. You can now align your thumb downwards. The right hand grip will then allow you to determine the direction of the magnetic field to be in the direction as indicated and therefore clockwise. The strength of the magnetic field or the magnetic flux density denoted by B with the unit Tesla can be calculated by using the formula here. And this formula is available in the data booklet. But the data booklet will not indicate what each of the symbol actually represents. Let us run through. I represents the current in ampere that's running through the long, very long wire. For any point near the wire, say for example, indicated by the cross, the R is the perpendicular distance or the shortest distance from the long wire to that point. Using the data booklet value of mu naught, which is the permittivity of space, as 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter, you can actually calculate the magnetic flux density of any point that's near to the very long wire. Magnetic field of a flat circular coin. To determine the magnetic field of a flat circular coin, we could determine that the, that the current is flowing into the plane at this point and flowing out of the plane at this point. And looking at the magnetic field created by the downward current in this position, using the right-hand grip, you can actually determine that the magnetic field pattern is as drawn. In the same vein, if you now take a look at the upward current and in determining the magnetic field, you will find that the magnetic field is as drawn. So the magnetic field of both these currents will vectorially add themselves up to give the final pattern of the magnetic field that is actually depicted in this diagram. Alternatively, another way to determine the direction of the magnetic field is now to use the right-hand grip rule, but you reverse what the thumb and what the grip represents. In this case, the grip will now have to represent the current, while the thumb will represent the direction of the field line. And if we assume a current of I flowing in anti-clockwise in the circular coil, then using the right-hand grip rule, the grip will then be aligned to the direction of the current flow, which is anti-clockwise, anti and we can, we can then conclude to say that the magnetic field are more, all moving upwards. The magnetic field strength or the magnetic flux density of the flat circular coil can be calculated using this formula. Let's take a look at what each of the symbol represents. I represents the current that's flowing in the circular coil. And R is the radius of the circular coil. And 2R actually represents the diameter. Mu naught is your 4 times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. That is actually found in the data booklet. The final symbol is your capital letter N. And N represents the number of turns in the flat circular coil. Magnetic field of long solenoid. In the magnetic field of long solenoid, we could determine the direction of the magnetic field again by using the right hand grip rule. And in this case, the right hand grip represents the current, while the thumb represents the direction of the field lines. So, looking at this diagram and using the right hand grip rule, do you know that the magnetic field lines are all moving in this direction? And therefore, because of that, at this end, it will be in the North Pole. Since all the magnetic field lines will emit out of the North Pole, while at the opposite end will be the South Pole, where all the magnetic field lines will move towards it. The alternative to look at the direction of the magnetic field lines in the solenoid, for example, is to place your eyes and look at it from this angle. If you were to look at it from this angle, the perspective drawing is as indicated in this diagram. And since the current is flowing in this direction, from this perspective, looking from B, you will know that the current flow is as indicated down here. From O level, from the letter S, you will know that the direction of the current flow matches the letter S as drawn. And therefore, because of that, the polarity at B is south for the solenoid. The other options is look at it from perspective A. If you look at it from perspective A, then you will know that uh, based on the current flow in the solenoid, we will then be able to indicate that that is the current flow from perspective A. 
And remembering in O level, where if you look at the letter N, you will find that the letter N matches the direction of the current flow. Hence, because of this, the polarity at the end of the solenoid at A will actually be the North Pole. Let's take a look at the formula that allows you to cal calculate the magnetic flux density or the magnetic field strength at the center of the solenoid. The formula to use is given as such. I is the current flow in the solenoid, while mu naught is 4 times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. And N is the number of turns per unit length. So E the solenoid is 50 cm in length and there are 100 turns in this solenoid. Then your N will be calculated as 100 divided by 0 0.50 meter. And that will work out to be 200 turns per meter.